He wrote all of the music, but it was his musicians and his orchestras. He was in tune with the top three orchestras in the world. So that always is a key factor when you're making music, you know, so great. Okay, okay. Um, you know, I, I was looking through your discography, and I wanted to ask you about a song that I was kind of surprised you produced. Like, I didn't know you produced it, but it's the Music Soul Child song, Waiting Still. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, give me some background on that song and how it came about. The song Waiting Still is one of my favorites, man. Um, I, I went up to New York. I was doing some work. Shout out to Jerry Wonder. He's the guy who actually played the guitar on that track. Um, and, and Waiting Still, man, I got to work with this guy, Jerry Wonder. He's an amazing producer, but we worked together on several tracks. And, um, you know, he has a studio in, in, in New York, which he owns called Platinum Sound. And, um, you know, just working in this guy's studio, man, he has this great wine that we were drinking called Sangria. He has some of the best original wine, this Sangria. Oh, my God, it was just amazing. And um, just the vibe that it had. I mean, we had the we had the strobe lights in the studio, the SSL, big SSL board. Uh, the guitar was in the building. He also plays bass. This is uh, Wyclef's cousin. Um Jerry Wonder, he's, you know, did a lot of musicianship for the Fuji album. Um, he's done production for some of everybody. He's a Grammy Award winner. Um, so just working with this guy, older guy, but he's a remarkable guy to work with um, and, and, and extremely remarkable experience. Um, and, and we did about eight or nine particular tracks. And this was one of the tracks that we did together um, for Music Soul Child, Waiting Still. And um, it just turned out amazing, man. So, you know, it was fun. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah. And then the other song I want to ask you about is the Usher song, Stranger. Yeah, Stranger. Yeah, tell me about that one. Stranger, I produced that track in L.A. Um, in another session for another label. I was actually just making tracks. I think I actually originally made that track for maybe Trey Songs um, or somebody like that. And we really couldn't find anybody to write to it at the particular time. Um, that particular day, actually. So we had somebody else come in the next day and write to it. And we had like two or three songs to it, but none of them were just like monumental. None of them were just really moving or just anything that I wanted to keep to that particular music. Great songs, just, you know, a lot of times I'll take a song off of a track and put it on another track. Um, so in this instance, uh, we had one a writer, one of, uh, and this was probably maybe six months after I had made that particular track. I had bumped into, uh, you know, I was in an Usher session or whatever, and one of his writers, Ryan, I forgot Ryan's last name. He has a writer who writes a lot of his stuff uh, named Ryan. And uh, Ryan came and was like, yo, man, that track's dope, man. Let me write to it. And he wrote to it. He actually did two different uh, songs that day, and Stranger was one of them. Usher heard it, Usher cut it, and, you know, the rest was history. Actually, that particular record, I got the permission to leak, and I leaked it on my memorial playlist. I do these playlist CDs of all of the tracks that I've ever produced to kind of aware people of, wow, like, every time I do one of these CDs, I always get feedback, like, dang, I didn't know you did that, I didn't know you did that, oh, I didn't know you produced that, I didn't know, it's so much, I don't know. And that's another thing about producers, like, if you're not rapping, or if you're not verbal on your tracks, or if you're not somewhere word spoken, then you're not going to be seen, or, or people don't even recognize that you're the one who's behind this work, and that was the key ingredient behind Puff and Biggie, if you notice, they were always visual together, he was always in the visuals and whatnot, so... It's just, you know, a lot of people have left me out of videos, you know, the Shawty T-Pain video, Here I Am video. Um, it's a lot of videos that I think personally I should have been in, you know what I mean, and played a part, played a role or something. But, you know, a lot of artists, they don't even call you to let you know they shooting a video. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, cool. I just shoot my own videos. I just work on my own material. You know what I'm saying? That's just, you know, yeah. that's just how it goes. Yeah. Um, a video that you did it. A- did appear in is the Teacher Moses song, Are You For Real? You know, how did you get a chance to end up in that video? Um, Teacher Moses just called me. You know, I actually didn't even know I was doing that role or that part. Like, she called me, she was like, yo, can you come through my video? I'm thinking I'm just going to do like a cameo. 
You know what I'm saying? And as soon as I pull up, they're like, yo, you got to take off your shirt, take off your clothes. You know, you you know, we need you for this role and all of that. I'm like, ah. So I kind of like just randomly walked into that situation. You know what I'm saying? And Tija Moses, that's like a sister to me. She like, she like, you know what I'm saying? A home girl, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. So, you know what I mean? Much respect. You know what I mean? Great artist. And she, she's crazy writer. Like she, she writes to a lot of our music. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was just a just really a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's always good to hold somebody down when they need you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, who are you currently working with, with right now? I know you did the Guapale song and you also have a record with Raheem Devon and Angie Stone. So, you know, who else are you working with? Man, uh, I just did a record with Mary J. Blige. I'm not sure if it's going to make her album, you know what I'm saying? But we did get one record cut by her. That was awesome. Just to have, just to hear her on anything that I produced was amazing. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that I get on the record. It was actually written by Jonte Austin. Um, I'm working with Jonte extremely uh, uh, often now. Really just trying to develop my songs so when I present them to a lot of people, they're, they're, they're pretty much a no-brainer. It's like, okay, when we're going to cut it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you just have a record that's just a smash, and it's just like, all they want to know is when can they cut the record. So that's what I've been with John T. Austin, which is, you know, a, a Grammy Award winner and ex extraordinary writer, um, and developing my own team of writers. Um, you know, I was sitting sitting right next to Erica Badu when I won my BT Hip Hop Award. Uh, for no hands and you know uh, Erica Badu commended me and you know she spoke to me and spoke on doing some work with me in the future so definitely looking forward to Erica Badu um, definitely looking forward to Jill Scott um, John Legend we're supposed to be going to Chicago soon you know what I'm saying so uh, you know reaching out to John Legend on some stuff as well you know what I mean and, and definitely I look forward to getting with Justin Timberlake you know what I'm saying he's in, in LA uh, uh, so I'm supposed to be going out there doing some stuff as well you know what I mean you know, those are all the questions that I had prepared for you. Um, is there anything that you'd like to add? Um, check out my website, www.drum-squad.com. Definitely follow me on Twitter. I am drummer, D-R-U-M-M-A. I am D-R-U-M-M-A. Um, you know, check us out. You know what I'm saying? Definitely stay tuned. Um, working more on the soundtrack side, doing a lot of movie stuff, looking to do some acting. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and definitely um, taking the music to the next level. Stay tuned. Drummer Boy Live, if you want to speak about Drummer Boy Live, a lot of people ask what Drummer Boy Live is. Drummer Boy Live is music that I make with live instrumentation. So, for instance, my first Drummer Boy Live placement was uh, a record I did for Rick Ross called Here I Am featuring Nelly which was, you know, a, a, a big record. Um, and a lot of, lot of actual gospel people love that record, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people in church are like, oh, you did that record? That's one, of the, that's one of the few records I can listen to. Like, a lot of people say they can, you know, listen to it because of the meaning and just the words and the structure of the song, you know, it's definitely a big record. Um, and that was the first Drummer Boy Live record. The second Drummer Boy Live record was on T.I.'s album, Paper Trail, I did a record for him called You Ain't Missing Nothing. And um, if you listen to that, I had a saxophone in there, live drums, live bass, live guitar. Um, so, you know, definitely expanding with the Drum Boy Live. And, you know, we got the band rehearsing and whatnot. So definitely stay tuned to more music from that catalog as well.